This is the solution to quiz 14. So question one <coughs> is um, identical to uh, quiz uh, 11, question three, I think. So you can see that key in that video for the solution. Question two, uh, says the following, let a n be a geometric sequence, put a n in standard form. Okay, because a n is a geometric sequence, we know that a n is some a multiplied by r to n minus 1 for some constants a and r. And what we need to do in this exercise is we need to find a uh, and little r. Okay. So, uh, given the data that we know, we know that r, that should be the ratio of any two consecutive terms. And since we're given consecutive terms uh, in, this, in the geometric sequence, that means we can just plug in. So r will be uh, 48 over 125, and then that divided by 24 over 25. And because division by a fraction is the same as multiplication by its reciprocal, This will be 48 over 25 divided by 25 over 24, or multiplied by 25 over 24. Cancellation occurs, so 48 over 24, that leaves a 2 in the numerator. <coughs> and 25 over 125, well, that leaves a 5 in the denominator. So therefore, the ratio is 2 fifths. And therefore, we know that a n is a multiplied by 2 fifths to n minus 1. <coughs> to determine uh, the value of a, we can use either one of these pieces of information. So we're given the data that a3 is 24 over 25. And we also know that a3 is equal to the unknown a multiplied by 2 fifths uh, squared. So that is 3 minus 1. So what we know is that those two numbers must be equal to each other. So 24 over 25 is a multiplied by, well, 2 fifths squared is 4 over 25. We can multiply both sides by 25, so that 24 is A multiplied by 4, divide by 4, so 6 is A. And therefore, we know now that A n is 6 multiplied by two-fifths to n minus one. So that's the answer to part A. For part B, it's quite similar to part A. Uh, however, we're not given consecutive terms. In part A, we were given A3 and A4, so A3 and the next one, A4. Here we're not given consecutive terms, we're given B2 and B7. However, the, the mechanics are nevertheless quite similar. So Bn must be equal to some B 
multiplied by r to n minus 1. <coughs> so, <coughs> b7 divided by b2, b7 divided by b2, on the one hand, the data is saying that it should be uh, 1, 3, 9, 9, 6, 8. So 1, 3, 9, 9, 6, 8 over 18. And on the other hand, because it's a geometric sequence, it should be B times R to 6 divided by B times R to 1. So performing this division, 1, 3, 9, 9, 8, 6, divide by 18. <coughs> that is 7, 7, 7, 7. <coughs> ah, so that should be 9. Ah, <laughs> I thought that number looked pretty weird. So 9, 6, 8, but I had typed 8, 6 into my calculator, so 6, 8. <coughs> OK, that's better. 7, 7, 7, 6. OK, now the b's cancel, and then r to 6 over r to 1 is r to 5. So we can compute the fifth root of this. So the fifth root of 7, 7, 7, 6 is r. So 7, 7, 7, 6 with fractional exponent 1 fifth is 6. And therefore, we know that bn is uh, the unknown b uh, multiplied by 6 to n minus 1. And now we can use either piece um, of data. So for example, we know that from the data that b2 is 18, and from the fact that it's a geometric sequence, we know that b2 is the unknown b multiplied by uh, 6. So therefore, we know that 18 is the unknown b multiplied by 6. So b is 3. <coughs> and therefore, we know that bn is 3 multiplied by 6 to n minus 1. <coughs> Okay, so then question three. So we're given a geometric sequence. It says find the sum of the first 12 terms. So <coughs> what we're using here is we're using the formula SK is A multiplied by r to k minus 1 over r minus 1. And we are using it with uh, k, the number of terms is 12, a is 2, and r is 3. So just plugging that in the calculator. Uh, 2 times 3 to 12 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. The number is 531440. So now we have a geometric uh, sequence, <coughs> uh, except this time uh, we are not given A and R, at least not directly. So we know 
that a is 3. Because a is always the first term. So a is 3. And we know that r, well, that will be the ratio of successive terms. So how about 3 halves over 3, <coughs> which is 1 half. And therefore, <coughs> what's being asked is for us to use this formula. SK is A multiplied by R to K minus 1 over R minus 1. And we'll be using it with K is 8, A is 3, and R is a half. OK, so typing that into the machine. 3 times half to 8 minus 1 divided by half minus 1. S8 is 5.976 when rounded to uh, four places past the decimal. And that's the answer.